Uh, I wanted to discuss the matter of Francesca Ramsey. There's a whole thing, uh, I'll link to a couple of videos about it because they're all pretty long and I, I don't really want to go into that because then this video will be really long as hell where essentially uh, anyone who's sort of following along with this whole situation know that uh, at VidCon a couple months ago that there was there seemed to have been potential progress made on the front of, you know, with... Francesca Ramsey, like, she seemed to be, uh, open to the idea of opening a dialogue, of having debates, of dis having discussions with sort of the, the skept, with the, the skeptic community or whatever, and, you know, having a back and forth, meaningful discussion. Well, evidently a few days or a week or so ago, those, those possibilities, those hopes or dreams, those aspirations, whatever, came to a screeching fucking halt in her, whatever, weekly podcast with her husband. Where it's like, oh yeah, uh, so he, he, you know, would, like, like I would ever, they just wanted to, you know, she just basically walked back absolutely every positive thing she said. She was insulting, she was patronizing, she was just being Francesca Ramsey, basically. Uh... And yeah, it just kind of, it pissed off a lot of people because evidently she was like trying to, she was communicating with them back and forth, kind of behind the scenes, like, hey, you know, we should maybe do a video together, maybe you should come on Decoded, kind of things like that. And then podcasters is like, oh yeah, fuck them. Like I would ever, they just want to get, they just want it for the clicks. They're just trying to get their, uh, just trying to get their, uh, uh, they're just trying to, to help boost their subscribers and, and, and all that stuff. Like I would ever allow them on MTV's decoded because and and give them that that the help with subscribers and getting clicks and making more money I, I noticed that was something I picked up on listening to that podcast was a pretty regular reference to that like oh it's all about oh it's just about getting clicks all oh, it's just about uh uh money and getting subscribers and and getting more money and more subscribers and more money. So there's a constant theme going on. And they always harp on it. Always. She's just constantly harping on, oh, it's about money, it's about money, it's about money. Like, okay, that's kind of weird. It's like, okay, never mind the issues, never mind someone's opinions. No, it's, it's got to be just about the money. And honestly, that seems to be, it, it seems a little bit like projection to me. If that's the right word, is it projection? Yeah. Basically, it seems kind of like basically the thing was just like, no, 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 I'm not doing that. You're doing that. You're doing all kinds of that. Not me, though. I'm in it. I'm in it for the for the equality. I'm sorry. We say equity now, you know, that kind of shit. And that's something like I, I, I couldn't help like that kept sticking with me. And I was just wondering, like, why? Why is it? Because that's that is never ever a, a, a subject that comes up on in the skeptic community sort of videos. I've never never heard that brought up. It's always SJWs and particularly in this case that, that you know a lot of times well, one they're trying to, to de-platform people and, and go after their income but this like harping on money like that is a particular thing that I don't hear very often. And when I do hear it, it's from the SJW side. And that made me think about, like, what is the deal with, what is her deal with that? Why does it keep harping on it? And I got to thinking about it. And really, when you think about it, I kind of came to a realization that Francesca Ramsey really isn't a YouTuber. You know, that's the thing. It's like, oh, famous YouTuber Francesca Ramsey. Eh, not really. When you think about it. Because... I think she did some other videos in the past, but the main thing that the mo the thing that she's far and wide known for is MTV is the decoded videos, uh, done by by MTV. And what I've noticed with those videos and with the content she's produced uh, of that type is that it's actually opposite 
to the way YouTube usually works. Like when you look at the sort of the system, the the way YouTube channels usually grow, it's you know it's YouTube is a meritocracy. You know you start with basically nothing. You you start with a cell phone or a webcam or something like that, and then you you kind of you know. You put out your content, and if your content's good, people like it, and they, they subscribe, and they watch it, and they comment, and more people subscribe, and, and as you get that going, you, know, you put more into your channel, and you get more practice with editing, and you know you get better, better cameras, and, and equipment, and uh, better higher production quality, and things like that, and it starts to grow that way. And then you get... And then you get to a point where you know you're in a studio and you got a real slick layout and, and you know real slick editing and real high production value things like that. Then you get to that point. You know you have staff that you hire on to, to help with the, like filming and editing and, and all that stuff, all that jazz. You know, but in the beginning it's just you and your 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 smartphone or you and your webcam. Decoded and. F- all the stuff that Francesca Ramsey is known for was done the opposite way. You know, you get, you know, she goes, she gets with with MTV, MTV, and all this stuff. Like they 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 pump in all this money, then all this like writers and set design and editing and professional equipment and high production value, and the content is just shit, and no one likes it. You know. And they keep, and it's like the saying is like, I don't know, maybe it's because of their backgrounds. Like, you know, like for instance, and that's the odd thing about it when you think about it, maybe it's a, a point of frustration for Franny, is that she is actually, uh, from what I've been able to find, has a degree in, was it fine art and uh, graphic design. So she is actually formally trained in doing this, in being a creator. But all the stuff she creates, no one really likes. And I don't know, maybe that's it. Maybe that's why she keeps harping on money and subscribers and, and fame and all this stuff. Because she just can't seem to get it. So think about it. Francesca Ramsey, man. Like, a lot of people know who Francesca Ramsey is. For crying out loud, she has a show on MTV. Like, an MTV-sponsored uh, show, which is interesting that she does because, you know, I've looked, but I've looked at their numbers. I looked at like subscriber counts, things like that. And I think like MTV news, the channel that that hosts her like decoded channels has something like, you know, a hundred thousand something subscribers. Uh, her channel's got like like was it two? I think the time I recorded this is like two hundred and forty-four thousand subs, things like that. And of course, you look at the friggin' decoded videos, and it was like hacky, race baby bullshit. And it's like it's like the fucking like to dislike ratio is abysmal. You know, no one likes that shit. Nobody. In fact, I'm I'm pretty sure the majority. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the majority of people that watch those videos actually watch them to make response videos about them. Or to ridicule them. Or to pick them apart. Because they're stupid. In my opinion. And I think that's the issue. I think that maybe that's why. Because like, you know, she does her thing. She's she's training it. She's supposed to like, oh, I know how to do this. I've got a degree in this. I know, you know, making content, being creative. Yet she just can't seem like, even with fucking MTV backing her. And trying to forcibly ram her content down our, everyone's throats. She's still not getting the success she wants. You know, especially when you compare it with a lot of the anti-SJW people. I mean, for example, at the time of this recording, you know, I was just wondering, you know, how does, how does Franny and her channel with 244,000 subs, how does it stack up to the, the internet trolls that, that no one likes? So these, these horrible people that are just in it for, for clicks and money. Well, you know, we've got... King Troll himself, Sargon of Akkad, well, he, he's sitting up there at like 686,000. Some Black Guy, 219,000. Andy Worski, or like Nemesis, or the guy, 
They actually seem to be making some progress uh, on that front. 250,000, more than she has. Thunderfoot, 739,000. Shoe on Head, 763,000 subscribers. And her shit's shot on a fucking potato with a USB port in, in the back. Uh, Blair White, 366,000. Bearing, 377,000. I mean, the list goes on and, and on. I mean, hell, Count Dankula's got 41,000 videos, and his claim to fame is a two-and-a-half-minute video of him teaching his girlfriend's pug to do the, the, the Nazi salute. That's it. And yet, somehow... Francesca Ramsey, with the backing of fucking MTV, with, you know, I believe before that, she was like, YouTube Creators for Change, some kind of grant, got like $20,000, like tens of thousands of dollars in, in money that has been sunk into these videos, into her channel, and she just can't break a quarter million subs. She just can't seem to get videos that, on average, get more likes than dislikes. And that's usually the thing. I've even seen some shit videos, and there's not. It takes a particular type of, of annoying person to have to consistently be getting more dislikes than likes. You know, and and just like I think that's the the big big issue here. Like honestly, I think she needs to come to come to terms with. You know that that it is just face it. You know, Franny. The internet doesn't like you. And, you know, I know, I know, I know what you're going to say. Like, oh, well, the internet's full of, you know, racist, sexist, misogynistic, homophobic, Islamophobic, woo, 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 got some victim-blaming, cis, white, male, scum assholes, you know, that they're just, you know, that just hate equality and hate social justice. And to that, I would say, you know what, hold your horses there, Franny. Because... Dropping in with the freaking mm, people's elbow out of nowhere. Lacey fucking green with 1.5 million subscribers. And this being after the whole red pill thing, confusion, kerfuffle, shit. Still on top of all of them. A feminist. And SJW, someone who also has backing by MTV, and guess what? People seem to actually like her shit, but not yours. And that's really, I mean, where else do you go from there, you know? Content sucks. It's rake spady, it's hacky, it's inaccurate, and no one likes it. I mean, maybe if you weren't such an abrasive pain in the ass, maybe you could actually get more subs. Maybe you yourself could actually make an income off of this. Maybe you yourself could actually be a well-liked uh, and organically liked and respected YouTuber. And I think that's a big part of it, too, that Francesca Ramsey is not, like, Again, that's why I kind of go back to the sort of the meritocracy that is, or at least has been, YouTube. Is that, you know, PewDiePie got to get got to be where he's at because people like his content. You know, Casey Neistat got to be where he's where he is and how popular he is because people liked his content, not because, you know, various other SJW creators. And MTV and the, the, the sort of the mainstream media type folks just pump money into their channels and cramp them down our throats. They got there because people like their content and because people enjoy it and share it and it builds and they organically build an audience. That is not what Francesca Ramsey does or has done. They take shit content and it's like, okay, this is the line, deal with it. And you have this, like, the YouTube creators for change bullshit. And you've got, you know, VidCon and, you know, The Nightly Show and all these various, like, CNN and all this stuff. All this shit. 
all this attention that she's gotten uh, that that you know the the people in charge the people at the top the big big forces there want this to happen want her to be a thing but it's not happening and that has got to be pissing her off anyway that's that's my two cents on this particular issue so to do with it what do with it what you will uh like dislike comment uh, like to hear your thoughts on this matter as always uh and if you haven't done so already subscribe i'll see you next time